Hi, this is Jim Wyckoff with your weekly 5M Publishing Grain Markets Outlook. Starting out uh, the week in grain futures traded with a mixed bag. Uh, soybeans trading around a, around steady Monday morning. Corn under some pressure in the wheat market following corn. Uh, the underlying theme in the grain markets continues to be weather in the corn belt. Now we have seen some heavy rains and flooding uh, that maybe is adding some uh, short covering buying interest to corn and soybeans because of maybe some ponding in fields. But I think the overall tenor of this uh, weather pattern in the corn belt, corn belt remains bearish because rain uh, is still occurring and rain makes grain as uh, the old saying goes. So uh, I've got to say the overall weather patterns in the Corn Belt are going to continue to favor the bears and the extended forecast. We still don't have any hot or dry weather. However, as we move to the end of the June month and into July, that is when weather patterns historically have changed. So I suspect that uh, as the calendar turns to July, you could see some uh, maybe some more short covering and maybe uh, some upside price action in corn and soybeans with wheat being a follower based upon the notion that, that we will see some kind of a weather scare develop as we move into midsummer. Remember that history shows that virtually every year in the grain markets during the summer growing season in the U.S. there is some degree of a weather market scare. What we don't know is uh, whether that scare is going to produce a 15 cent rally in the corn market or a dollar two rally. That's what needs to be determined, but rest assured some kind of a weather uh, development of weather scare will occur here in the coming weeks. Uh, for the wheat market, uh, we've just seen continued harvest progress, a little bit of short covering in wheat due to some poor yield results, but I suspect wheat will continue to follow the uh, uh, corn and soybean market. And again, from a technical posture, uh, all three grain markets uh, continue to be controlled by the bearish camp on a near-term basis. That's it for this week, Jim Wyckoff reporting.